still grinding, putting in that work every day, about to do a workout, ran into some cool people, and they want to talk about some red pill. So we're about to talk about red pill, we're about to expose these, you know what I want to say, but we're about to expose them. So we're going to start from here to here. Shout yourself out, to them, tell them your age. Hey bro, it's the Kai's Warner, bro. Come a little bit closer. Get, get my IG, the Kai's underscore warning. Uh, my IG, my light skin 30. Say it again. Uh, my light skin 30. <laughs> uh, my name is Malachi. Uh -huh. uh, I'm just, I'm just chilling, just chilling here. Okay, are y'all from here? No, uh, we from Indiana. Indiana. All right. So for the first topic we want to talk about with this red pill stuff is uh, physical attraction versus monetary. I need y'all to understand this because. Uh, when, when you have women that are attracted to you physically, y'all, uh, you're gonna go through it and you're gonna realize, but when you're dealing with women who are attracted to you physically opposed to lifestyle and money, they're more submissive and they're more cooperative and the energy that they come to you is a lot better. And they're not gonna ask for bill money, they're not gonna ask for gas money. Like when I deal with girls, we were talking about this. We don't talk about bills, we don't talk about gas, we don't talk about none of that. We just, they look at the body and they talk about the body. So that's why it's important to level up physically. And how do y'all feel about that? The physical versus using your money to pull a woman. Uh, I don't like that. Bro. The physical or the money? Uh, Which one? I don't like the money. How you gonna use our money? Come you up some. That, that means you're just using us. Uh -huh. If you just gonna use us, bro, you're gonna use our money. Like, we need that. We need to, we need to pay our bills, too. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you can't be taking our money. No. Like, we, we, we work for that. We, 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 if we want to give it to you, we give it to you. If yeah. we want to. But okay. we got we got we got life to live too. So do you think it's do you think it's fair to give them money if they uh like quote unquote earned it, or you think you shouldn't give them money at all? Oh no 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 no! You should definitely give them money. Like, okay. But like like you got like you got sometimes you got we got to put ourselves first, and sometimes if you want to give to them, you can give them. But we got we like I said, but we got life to live too. We got to put ourselves first sometimes. Like y'all definitely gonna get stuff. If we like y'all, y'all wouldn't get stuff. But you just can't use us. Like we got, we got, we got life. You heard the key word. If we. It was a shitty Mustang. Hopefully you don't crash. But uh, you you heard that. If we like you, we will take care of you and provide for you. Now, how do you feel about that? That's not that? sugar. No. I mean, then we went to. Um, I don't like. Johnny Rock I don't like using that. money. Cause like, I mean, if you got it. And you want, if you like them enough, and you want to spend on them, yeah, that's fine. Come up some, come up some. Like once in a while, once in a while, but not all the time. This is, that's not real. It's not real. Like if you, if you actually want to be with someone, and you like them like a lot. It'll be y'all two together and nothing else. It's just y'all two. One hundred percent. And like, and I, go ahead, finish. No, 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 that's it. That's it. So um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the oldest. I'm 29, so I've been through a lot, and I've used cash, I've used body, and honestly. Body is 100% the way to go, and that's for all of y'all. Level up physically, and I promise you, women will approach you better in the energy, and just just how they act would be a lot better. Do not go the money route. Trust me. Anything else y'all want to say about physical attraction versus monetary? Don't use us just for money, y'all. If y'all really like this, just tell us. Like, we, we, we'll know. We, like, we look for signs. Don't just use us for money. We know when y'all like us and all, all right so that's a good point so even though guys realize that guys are still simping super hard and allowing themselves to be used in in hopes of getting laid or in hopes they're just hoping yeah. how do y'all feel about putting all your shit on the line for a hope that's when it comes up. to women i feel like that's, that's just that's like uh that's like trying to make it to the nba or just trying to do a career that's not guaranteed like you're giving everything up just for, oh, I hope she gives me this, or I hope she gives me that, when you should just, don't go the money route, just like he said, body, and like, and if they have like a horrible <laughs> mentality, or like, they're just always talking about um, money, or something, something that's not like you, then don't just fake it, just be yeah. real. Hey, introduce yourself real quick, shut your, shut your up. Uh, my name is Cedric Horton, uh, Instagram Cedric Horton, underscore four. Yes, sir, so it's important for everyone to level up physically. And and I, I don't know if y'all knew this, I did this in under a year. Under a year. I haven't even been doing calisthenics. I've been doing calisthenics for 11 months. And I was already looking like this back in like April. So you have to be hungry to level up. Because a lot of guys just run their mouth online and cry 
but I do not see dudes physically doing anything. Now, how do y'all feel about the uh, simp culture and guys just on YouTube videos crying and bashing, but I'm sure when you look around and look at the guys, you don't see them doing much. How do y'all feel about it? How, how do y'all feel about that? Come here, come here. Yeah, we exposing women nature over here. Oh man, I don't think they're ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> they teach you that. He's teaching yeah, we right teach right now. We, we, we learn we, we, Class is in session. Yeah. That's probably the only one you need to talk to. Yeah, right you got it. They, they, they said that when he came over. That's exactly what they're saying. Malachi, you look small now, though. <laughs> it's cause we on slanted, slanted, slanted. It's cause we on a slant, y'all. So how do y'all feel about that? The simp, the simping culture and um, guys going online crying, complaining, but not putting in the work. How do y'all feel about that? Uh, I just feel like that's a cop out. That's just, that's just you. Life hits you. You don't hit life back. You just you can't just let it go. Like don't just sit there and cry about it, hoping things get better. Go out and get it. Go out and work for something in life. Cause once it may hurt temporarily, but once you get it. It's just like, dang, I did it. And then once you do that one time, then success just feels good. You just want success more and more. And it's just, it's just fun to feel success. It's basically it's just gonna be easy. Oh yeah, it's gonna get easier. Really, if y'all want to simp over someone, y'all gotta know who y'all simping for. Like, if you gonna like, you gonna simp for someone who's just using you? Okay. Like, there's so much other girls out there, but if you were, you gonna simp for someone who's not using you, who's there for you, but they going through a hard time, and that is the space to themselves. So, like, that's who you got to simple. Those type of girls you simple. All right, so one, well, one more question, and I'm going to get the working out. How do y'all feel about uh, the modern-day woman compared to, like, a traditional woman, like our great-grandparents and stuff? Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the family. How do y'all feel about the difference? <laughs> that's, uh, they, they some H-E-O's, hoes. <laughs> I feel that. like, I just feel like modern-day women, non-day, just think, like, the male should just take care of everything. Should they should go out and work while they just watch the kids or clean the house? I feel like as a family, everyone should come together. Both should work. Both should help clean the house. Both help watch kids. Like it's a family, not uh, just you. And now, especially if there's kids involved, then y'all gotta really come together just to work together because it's family, and you gotta be there for family at all times, even though they may get on your nerves. I know. Your girlfriend or wife may get on your nerves all the time and all that, but you don't want to throw away however long. Like, say I've been there for a year, you don't want to throw a whole year of your life right. away just because just cause she didn't clean the dishes or something. Like, you don't want to throw that away just for something little. So just stick in it and don't quit because that's just being a, just being little, like being soft. Don't so, be soft. So do you think a uh, man and woman should split everything 50-50 or should the man... Uh, Take more of the load. No, I it, feel like 50, 50. it should be 50 50 because yeah, just, they're like, y'all should put the equal amount of work in y'all putting in. It should it should be 50 50. No, that just right. helps a lot of problems in the house. Like, say, like the man's just working all day and the girl's just clean all day. She's gonna get sick and tired of cleaning, he's gonna get sick and tired of working. Then y'all just, that's when y'all butt heads, argue all the time. But if y'all 50 50 it, y'all both working, y'all both cleaning, y'all both watch the kids, y'all both taking kids to school, then mm -hmm. no one can complain and no one can. They say, oh, I do this more than you do this, and I just avoid so much stuff. Now, this is where I have to come in and have to try to help these guys. I feel like this works for the average male. Now, when, when you're a high-value male and you're earning like 100000 a year or plus, how do you feel about that? Do you think a guy that's making 500000 should be splitting 50-50 with his wife? Because okay, most women don't make, I don't even think make over 50000 a year. So, you make 500000 she make fifty. When that happens, you put a woman into a, a role that she should be in. And that should be providing for the home make, and basically assisting you. Because you make 500 fucking thousand a year. Yeah. You don't need her uh, light bill money. You need her to cook for you because you're making 500,000. You need her to take care of those kids because you're making 500,000. And you got them in a private school. And the good life. So that's where I have to butt in. There's there's different levels. As you as you start climbing, and I'm not at that level yet, but I will be. But as you start climbing, the roles, there's a dynamic shift. And like I said, most people are average. So that would definitely work, you know, for a guy that's making 40, 50, and they're both almost about the same. And that is the logical thing to do. Because a guy making 40,000 should not take care of the whole load with a family and kids. You can also, and it also goes the other way. Like, say the female's making all the money, and the guy's not, then you should put the guy in his place to 
carry the load at the house, take mm -hmm. care of the kids, take them to school. My the wife goes mm -hmm. back and forth to work, getting the money so that the bills are paid, y'all eating mm -hmm. every night. So don't just think that he's just doing this, just exposed just females. Mm -hmm. It goes both ways. Mm -hmm. So as he said, something for a female goes, same thing for y'all males out there. So don't just think he's just talking about girls. Think about, he's, take this into consideration, he's talking about you. 100%. And I tell guys to level up. I'm, I'm hard on everybody. I'm hard on myself. That's why I look like this. I'm very critical of myself. So, um, let's see, is there anything else? Okay, yeah, back to that, um, the woman thing. I think this could be the last thing. So, uh, so they're saying, and in my opinion, when a woman is the breadwinner, which most modern day women are, because of degrees and all this crap, they're gonna tend to be more masculine, more argumentative, and they're gonna hold that power and leverage over you. And if you're a guy, you do not want to be in a situation where the woman has power and leverage over you and make more money than you. I would never put myself in that position. I need my woman to be feminine, fit, and helping me. And y'all should be the same way. You do not want your woman making more than you. You don't want her to hold that over you. I pay all the bills, I'll kick you out. You see it and hear that all the time. I've seen dudes clothes in the yard because the girl makes more money. Girl can't put my clothes in the yard because I have my own. Yeah. Make your own money, you do your own thing. Yep. Is there any last comments? And then y'all shout yourself out again, just in case yeah, they didn't hear Follow the Indiana Roz, man. Indiana Roz, follow the young guys. <laughs> Uh, that's it. That's it? Hey, hey. That's it. Uh, hey, but make sure uh, y'all follow Kai underscore Warner. Uh-huh. Turn me up, y'all. Go follow Cedric Ford underscore four on Instagram. Go follow Justin Kirby underscore one on Instagram. Follow uh, I am Jay DeFrance on Instagram. Even though he didn't talk, he got a free shout out. It's whatever. Free shout out. Love it. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Thank you.